Hello, this is Juniper of Solo V Studio, and welcome to my backyard. Um, today I would like to talk about um, when you notice that something isn't quite right in your life, or you notice you've been complaining about something, or you just feel stuck. So, part of my journey as a creative person, an artist, has been, um, uh, I have been drawing mandalas for a while now and it kind of actually started um, in high school when I worked for a bead store and I would <clears throat> make dream catchers and I would bead the inner part of the circle of the dream catcher and there's a lot of variations you can do just with some string and some beads um, and then as the years moved on, I would make the outer part of the dream catcher with branches and then weave the inner part with um, different materials. But, so I guess that was my first um, way of making mandalas. And then I, this was one of the first mandalas that I drew, colored paper or colored pencil on this paper and it progressed but at some point I was like didn't know what to do didn't want to do the same thing so I started feeling a little bit stuck this is actually a painting I did for my mom um, started feeling a bit stuck in I would feel like they all started looking the same. My second sketch, I bought a actual sketchbook for that, but that's inside. Um, so my mandalas have morphed over the time. Um, started just doing black and white. And then they started morphing and changing into incorporating more of a Celtic knot type of thing which is what I've been doing for Inktober. And then here's my drawings for the last couple days. And Inktober I find a bit challenging in such a good way because it, um, there's a theme and it's not always easy to mandala or draw a Celtic knot with a theme. So this was whale, this is the same drawing, just ones in black and white and one I colored in. And here's yesterday's. Today's is almost finished. Black and white and again in color. I'm not sure if I'm gonna color the one in today. It's the theme of a clock. So again, it's, it's, um, it's challenging. And sometimes it takes me quite a while just to sit there and to think about what I'm gonna do because it's also what I'm running in with Celtic knots like it's very simple the way I divide up the page to get stuck in the same patterns the same formations of how the lines interplay um, today I ended up with a star in the middle which I'd never a six-pointed star I've never had that happen before so that was pretty exciting um, but there's certain times where I feel stuck and I can't think of my way oh goodness my way out but it always everything always seems to shift and morph over time um, I wish I had that clock <clears throat> but it's not finished yet. <laughs> but there's some... Some things are just harder than others. How do you draw the word precious with lines and without pictures? How do you draw the word drool? I mean, sometimes I... Like with whale, I drew whales. Um, or exhausted. How do you draw exhausted? in a Celtic knot. So I came up with this one. 
this is my exhausted just trying to keep it together <laughs> and sometimes it is exhausting trying to come up with a new solution to a reoccurring conundrum but there is always a way out and sometimes I've found that I can get stuck in my head and when I'm feeling that especially about my drawings the best thing I have found is to just go for it um, here's because it's not always you're not always gonna come up with the most exciting the best result this one I can't remember which the theme was but I didn't like it I mean it's fine as it is but it just wasn't right for that theme oh that one's not even but some days I get stuck and so I do a couple until I come up with one that seems to fit better um, and then sometimes they're just like here's my fails that I didn't ink in that one I'm not too fond of I don't like how that's wonky this one it I'm not too fond of this one quite boring so and on and on and some of them are just but that's part of it that's part of the learning process that's part of the growing process so even though I've spent I don't know how many hours drawing and painting mandalas how many hours beading in a circular pattern that's not gonna go in right now but um, there's always something new that comes up even though I've spent a lot of time I filled up a f sketchbooks I've I have at least 50 drawings in here um, it just continues and continues and no two are exactly the same and what I've even found is if I have a rough sketch and um, I'll put that in my next video but if I have a rough sketch sometimes when I try to transfer it to the canvas it's it morphs on me so it's not exactly what I started with but a more edited form um, so there's always a new way and sometimes overthinking it just makes you more stuck but if you just go and allow inspiration to come you come up with something that you wouldn't have thought of if you just think and think and think and think which reminds me of um, crosswords there were times where I enjoyed doing crosswords and I would get so stuck of you know I would only I couldn't find the word because my thought patterns were remaining the same about the clue. But sometimes if you just take a break and come back to it, it's like, oh, duh. But it's, it's an interesting play of keeping things fresh and new and not feeling stuck. But it's completely possible. Okay, blessings on your day.